Welcome back, FGM Transtastic. It's Saturday. My name is Dane. So this week's topic is um, unwanted consequences of transition. Uh, I don't think I can really say a whole heap on this um, topic because mainly the whole focus seems to be towards um, uh, the whole medical side, so that being like hormones, surgery. Uh, so things like under that being uh, side effects of testosterone or um, the cost of surgery, especially going through the legal system, talking about how to get your name, gender marker, and all that jazz changed. Holy hell, that is a one painful process. So, unwanted consequences of transition. I don't think I can really speak from the medical side of transition, because I haven't started testosterone yet. Uh, later this year, hopefully, though. Um, but I know I am kind of scared of losing my hair because I don't know how I would look bald especially on testosterone um but I mean if I do lose my hair it's not going to be like a massive issue especially because like if I was born cis I would have lost my hair uh if I lose it on testosterone more likely than not so I'm like it's just adding to my maleness <laughs> One of the consequences I have now, though, regarding my transition is definitely just, like, social anxiety. Um, talking to more towards, like, I'm scared to go out of my house because I have this constant anxiety dwelling in the front, back, middle, and both left and right of my head in every single direction being like, oh, you are not trans enough because you aren't on hormones, you are not trans enough because you... Exam. This weird anxiety, I don't know if this is just necessarily me. Um, it's where... So, when you're out in public or it, in sitting at the table and someone uses sheep pronouns, uh, it doesn't have to be like aimed towards you in any way. Like, they could be talking about something completely different and about like someone, like a cashier, and they're just saying she because, you know, they're female. And whenever I hear like she or my old name, which is very rare, I hear my old name. I think I only know like one other person that's called that. Um, and I don't even know them personally. Uh, I just get very like anxious about it. Like, oh, are they, are they talking about me? Or are they talking about someone different? I don't know. And then I would have to eavesdrop on that conversation for like a good 20 minutes because I don't know what they're talking about and they could be talking about me and they could be misgendering me and all that stuff. And it's weird. I don't know if everyone gets that. Like, even if it's not directed towards me, them using the, uh, my old name or she pronouns, it could have been. And, I don't know, it gives me some mental trauma. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to completely explain it. Especially something that I can Another thing that I commonly see online is, you know, transphobia. And not even just online, like... In person so that always gives me anxiety too because I'm scared of getting uh, confronted and I know a lot of people because I'm out to my school um, and I started transitioning at my school uh, socially um, a lot of people uh, do talk behind my back which which I hear from other people uh, which I can't completely trust them because I don't want to confront them or go tell anybody on them because I haven't heard them say it myself, if you know where I'm coming from. Um, and it doesn't really bother me, but it's the fact of getting confronted uh, with it. So, like, someone uh, walking by me and, you know, screaming some insults at me. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> I don't think anyone would like that. Yeah, th th that gives, it just gives me anxiety because I don't know how I would deal with it. Especially, um, I have kind of a violent past, um, in dealing with things like that. <laughs> a few fist fights here and there, but that, that, that's fine. Uh, not, that's for another video. But yeah, I don't know what this video, what I'm really talking about in this video. I have, there's a lot of consequences of transition, depending on where you're coming from. I, a common thing I see people, um, thing, talk, ah, a common thing I hear trans guys, or non-binary people who are on testosterone uh, say is that they wish they could pick and choose their changes which I agree with like slightly um, more likely because if you're saying that you wish you were born cis uh, aimed towards more trans men 
uh, who identify as male. Um, wishing they were born cis, they, their dominant hormone would have been testosterone anyway, and you wouldn't have got to pick and choose your changes. So I don't see how um, wanting to pick and choose your changes now uh, could really help in any way. I don't know. It just kind of adds to your um, identity, I guess. I don't know what I'm talking about here. I'm just rambling. So if you get what I'm saying, I, I don't know. If you have any consequences of your transition that you would like to discuss with me in the comments, definitely do so. I'll be replying to everybody from my main account, which is now has been revamped and it's called Great Dane. The whole joke is that I'm not so great, I'm just Dane like without the great, you know? Haha. <laughs> it's, it's a meme, guys, okay? But yes, thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next Saturday. Um, stray, stay fantastic, transtastic.